Good morning. So I'm here at the Mount Nelson. I uh, am having a meeting around the corner and I just thought that I would pop in and um, have a bit of coffee here, which I did. And now I'm just having a walk around because I want to talk to you about water. And you can see that there's a lot of water here and the pool is full and the breakfast was great and the sun is shining behind me. Uh, hence why you can't see me right now, but I'm going to turn around and go into a bit of a dark space. Um, it's actually the shadow. Um, and it's, it's, the shadow is an important part of life. We need to understand our shadow. Uh, we need to know where we are. And um, so we were in the garden at the Mount Nelson. And you can see the Mount Nelson behind me. And there's squirrels and there's grass. And the Mount Nelson is one of the places in South Africa where for decades they've been looking after the environment. They make sure that they've got boreholes, they make sure they've got clean water. You've got birds, you've got bees, you've got squirrels, you've got everything. It's just so beautiful to be here and to have a bit of normality amongst the stress and strain of, of life. Um, there's a squirrel in front of me right now. I'm going to turn around so you can see it, hopefully, over there. Um, it's on the chair. Do you get it? Beautiful squirrel. So, um, I say hello to the squirrel. Maybe it'll run away. Hi, Squirrel. There's a bird. A squirrel and a bird. Here we go. So I want to talk to you today about something very important. I'm going to sit on one of these chaise long chairs over here and look at the Mount Nelson behind me. I'm going to take my jersey off. Okay, so here we are. What is the most important thing in life? Let's do this. Park off. What is the most important thing? The most important thing is health. How I feel about myself. Am I happy? Am I sad? In order to survive for the next minute, I need to have air, oxygen, clean oxygen, clean air, clean thoughts, clean breathing, clean life, clean living, no corruption in my mind, no pollution in my mind, no pollution outside. When I'm born, I'm breathed. My first breath is not an in-breath, it's an out-breath. I get smacked, lightly, and I breathe out, and then I breathe in. I'm a giver before I'm a taker. I'm generous before I'm selfish. And God breathes neshama into me, my soul, and gives me breath, neshima. And these words have the same consonants in Hebrew, neshama and neshima, soul and breath. I am breathed by God. When I wake up in the morning, I open my eyes and have the miracles of my eyes being able to see, my ears being able to hear, my nose being able to smell, my mouth being able to speak. My input holes doing what they're meant to do and my output holes doing what they're meant to do. I go to the toilet and things work. And I say thank you God that everything that's meant, all the openings and closings, are open and closing as they're meant to. So if I want to be alive in one minute's time or two minutes time, I need to have air. I need to have fresh air, fresh, fresh breath, fresh thinking. If I want to be alive this afternoon, I need water. I need clean, healthy drinking water. Mayim Chayim, oxygenated water. The water of life. If I have stagnant water, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get dysentery. I'm going to get diarrhea, I'm going to die. I'm going to get cholera or typhus or any of the other waterborne related 
diseases and there's so many of them. I can live on water for a few days. Fresh, good quality drinking water. At some point I need to eat. But before I get to eating, I need to sleep. So I need somewhere comfortable to sleep. It doesn't have to be big, but it's got to be some protection. It's got to be a place that I can put my head and I can wake up in the morning and I can be rested. I can have the miracle of sleep and the miracle of awakening and the miracle of dreaming and the miracle of breathing and the miracle of my body being made mostly of oxygen and mostly of water. And I can look at the birds and the bees and the, all the animals around here. So I have my security. I have my roof over my head. I have my bed. I have my water. I have my air. And then I need food. So in order to have an abundance of food, I need, an ab I need land, I need water, I need electricity, and I need brains. Those are the only four ingredients I need to be able to do anything. I need abundant water and abundant electricity. I don't need abundant land because on a very small amount of land I can do vertical farming, farming vertical farming. I read recently that a 30-story building can feed 50,000 people. And this is how farming is going to be in the future, already happening. Vertical farming. Which means the farmland can be used for recreation. We live on an abundant planet. We're at the cusp of something truly magnificent. I truly believe that in the next three or four months in South Africa, we can get over this cusp, we can get over this mountain, we can climb Table Mountain, Lion's Head, we can climb our local Mount Sinai, and Mount Sinai is low. It's like Signal Hill. We've got to send a signal to the world from Signal Hill. We've got to say, we can do it. We can live. We can survive. We will survive. We will use this water crisis to tell ourselves that we know what we're doing. We know that the critical things in life are security, safety, a place to sleep, good quality air, good water, food, and all these things are in the Bill of Rights and in our Constitution. Our Constitution protects us if we want it to. And of course I, as a citizen, I want my Constitution to protect me. So I will enforce the Constitution. And I'd like you to help me. Thank you.